the Catholic Daily Journal for Thursday, January the 17th, 2019. Today in 1377, one of the great papal crises in history was brought to an end by Pope Gregory XI, who finally moved the papal court back to Rome from Avignon. In 1309, King Philip IV of France arrested Pope Boniface VIII, and ultimately the Pope died in custody. King Philip then engineered the election of Raymond Bertrand de Gaulle as Pope Clement V. And he refused to leave France in the protection of King Philip, and so did his successors. Despite King Philip's death only five years later, the entire papal court, and what we would call the Roman Curia, lived and operated entirely in Avignon, France for 67 years, until today in 1377, when the so-called Babylonian captivity of the church finally came to an end. Also today in 1929, E.C. Seger drew a short comic strip for the Thimble Theater comic about a merchant marine and his skinny crush and the powerful effects of eating your spinach. Popeye the Sailor Man went on to become a cultural icon with drawings, and cartoon television, and a live-action movie starring Robin Williams. Also today is the birthday of American gangster and bootlegger Alphonse Gabriel Capone, a.k.a. Scarface. He was the head of a crime syndicate called the Chicago Outfit and has become an icon of Prohibition-era organized crime. His crime career only lasted seven years, and he was ultimately jailed for tax evasion and mail fraud. Movies like Scarface and the Godfather trilogy may have romanticized organized crime to some degree, but at the time, Al Capone's violence and his temper made that impossible. And even though he was only jailed for 11 years at the age of 33, he died in prison from a common dementia-inducing malady of the day. Finally, today is the birthday of Pope St. Pius V, who was elected just after the Council of Trent to implement the many policies established to confront the rise of the Protestant heresy in Northern Europe. Pius V established the Holy League, which was ultimately responsible for stopping the Eastern Muslim invasion. He formally excommunicated Queen Elizabeth I for the persecution of Catholics in England. And his name is on the standard version of the Roman Missal, which is what we know as the traditional Latin Mass or the extraordinary form of the Roman Rite since Pope Benedict XVI. Pius V decreed that any priest in the Latin Church could use the standard form of the Roman Rite. Before Trent, priests in England were expected to use the Serum Rite, and those in France were expected to use the Leonine Rite, and so on and so forth. Pope Pius V and his mandate from the Council of Trent made the Counter-Reformation possible, and had not so many political motivations co-opted young Protestant groups all over Europe that heresy may have been wiped out. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.